So let us go to the contents of the decedent's last will and testament. Okay. So the pertinent portions of the decedent's last will and testament reads as follows. Okay. I will summarize it for you. Okay. So first, according to the last will, upon my death, Mary shall be the executor and administrator of my estate until its distribution in accordance with this will. Second provision, my entire estate, okay, all of his estate shall be divided into six equal parts, which shall, dis which shall, be, uh, shall be divided into six parts, really the equal parts, okay, not equal parts, but divided into six parts, which shall be distributed equally, okay, so more de Gapon, okay, so divided into six equal parts, distributed equally among the following, Mary, okay, so she's the petitioner, my wife, and all of my children, except one, okay, Moy, that is not the way how it is written in the last will and testament. I'm just trying to make a shorter version, okay, I'm trying to rephrase it. So all of my children except one, okay, so one of the children of the decedent will not receive any inheritance. That is the second problem. So there is one child who will not receive any inheritance from his father. Let us call him um, Joey. Okay. For our purpose, let us call him Joey. According to the decision, notably, the last will and testament committed, omitted Joey, who is an illegitimate son of the decedent. So this is a problem because Joey is a child of the decedent. Although he is an illegitimate child, but he has a legitim that forms part of that estate. So we will discuss that problem further as we move forward. Okay. I'll see you in the next video.